Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I am Claire and this is The Wanderlust Way. Um, every so often I do a packing or travel tip review for you guys, um, in particular looking at certain products that I think might be useful if you're a frequent traveller and then I test them out and then we have a little chat about what we think about it. So stay tuned for today's installment. So today we are going to review some packing cubes that I've bought from Amazon. These ones are called the Obsgumu, Obgumu, something like that. Obsgumu. I'll drop, I'll drop them the link below. And um, they were only twelve ninety nine from Amazon. There was actually there was quite a lot to choose from, but um, I did go off the reviews. So I'm going to try them out, see whether they're any good. Personally, I've always thought that packing cubes were a little bit of a um, novelty, a bit like the air fryer when the air fryer came out and everyone was like, "Oh my god, you need an air fryer!" And I was like, "No, I don't." And then I got an air fryer and I was like, oh yeah, I do, so thanks for that. So I'm hoping packing cubes are going to change my life. Well, my travel life anyway. So I'm going to unravel what we get in here. This is the, I believe it's 12 pieces that we get. So what I'll do, one by one, I'll open, show you what we get. And then we can work out what it's all for. So we've got a little wash bag. So toothbrushes and stuff are going to go in there. Then we've got a little drawstring bag. Wish you have a colourful life. That's cute. Okay, and then we've got, ooh. oh, we've got a little note. Let's see what the note says. Mm. The note says, oh, it's very long. I'll not bore you with the note. I think it's just thanking, thanking us for our custom. So you might get a little note too if you order these. I think this is for your toothbrush that you've got. So I reckon you'll get your toothbrush and your toothpaste in there if you're using a regular toothpaste. Ooh. This is exciting. I mean, the package looks quite small, but it looks like everything's inside each other. So, we've got a big bag. We've got another little wash bag, I think. We've got something here to hang stuff with. We've got another little drawstring bag. Uh, no idea. I think that's, think that's to put light clothes in, obviously. Um, little like plasticky ones that I suppose you could bring your dirty washing back with you in or you could keep um, certain stuff separate so ah, lastly then we've got another bag so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out where everything's gonna go and I'm gonna show you how I would usually pack anyway and then how I'm gonna integrate these into the packing Right then, so usually I take far too much on holiday, but a little bit of a New Year's resolution is that I am going to be more organised and then therefore I don't need to take extra bags and have extra luggage charges when I get to the airport. So I tried all my stuff on, made sure it all fit. I'm going for seven nights, so I'm thinking I need at least seven outfits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have got a little spare just in case I can't change, you know, I can't make my mind up on the day. So... That is one thing I'm going to do, um, is obviously organise what I'm taking in advance. I've got a pile behind me of all my clothes that I'm going to take and swimsuits and stuff. So I'm going to work out how all this is going to get in the case. So here's my case that I have already used for one trip. Um, if I've I did buy it on Amazon, I think. So if I've got the link, I'll drop it below for you. Um, it's actually a really good case. I've got the smaller version of it in the pink, which is re and I've had that nearly two years, and it's ideal for like weekends. Um, but what I like about these cases is they have a lock built into them, which is really really handy. Um, so you're messing about. So they had lots of colours to choose one and I wanted one to match my car, so I went with white. However, I wouldn't recommend getting white because when it goes through baggage handling, they don't look after it, do they? So we've got a few scuffs and I would think by the time I've done about 10 trips or whatever with this, it ain't going to be looking great. So I, bought, I did buy another one for my son in red and um, yeah I learned from the from the mistake last time so here is my case empty 
Okay, empty. I'll show you those. Scuff. So it's Kono. So it's, yeah, it's got some scuffs and stuff on it. But I reckon you'll get them off with um, a bit of Sith, maybe. Or maybe one of those magic erasers. Which really cool is that the wheels like, spin around. It's really easy to push. And it's got a handle. Oh, dead handy. So, let's get this bad boy packed. I'm going to start putting stuff into the packing cases. And then we're going to see how it's all going to fit. And whether we think I've actually saved any room. So, I've just actually taken a couple of minutes to have a little look at this note that was in the thing. Oh, it's really sweet. I'm going to read the top line for you okay so it says dear valued customer as a person with limited physical mobility i would like to express my heartfelt gratitude once again for your purchase of my merchandise your support has provided me as a person with disability with a precious opportunity to pursue my entrepreneurial endeavor that's really nice I i'll read the rest of it later um but that's nice to know that you're buying something and it actually really... I think you forget a lot of the time that there's a lot of small businesses behind these products and pe real people behind these products. So when you are purchasing them, you're making a difference, aren't you? Well, that's the only difference you can make today. I'll just show you this one for example. So this is one of the bags. It's got a little mesh front at the top and then we've got these straps that are going to go round once I've put the clothes in. I like to roll my clothes Um I know a few people do that, but I, I've always liked to roll my clothes because they're less creased. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on rolling. Yeah, that that's all got to go in as well. I'm going to carry on rolling and we'll see if I can get it all in here. I've not got much in there, um, but I I'll keep going. Have faith, Claire. Trust the process. Mm -hmm. I reckon I could get more in there. I reckon I could. Do you know what? I'm going to try and lay them on top. I might regret this. So please bear with me, and if you're still here, thank you very much. Um, but yes, um, it's not going to be as aesthetically pleasing as some channels out there. That's not what this is about. This is about working out in real life whether this packing cube system is worth doing. And um, yeah, I'll let you know. Ta da! I have got it in there. I reckon I might have been able to get a little bit more in if I need to. But I'm going to just keep going with all of my clothes down here. But so far, I'm going to keep everything nice and. Oh, we've got poppers on the back here. I don't know what they're for. Does anybody else just get absolutely distracted when they're packing and just end up messing about in the bedroom doing stuff that they shouldn't be and then packing takes twice as long? If that's you, let me know in the comments and make me feel a whole lot better about myself. Uh, anyway, I just spent about five minutes trying different sunglasses on, which is a good thing really, because it means I can work out which ones I'm going to take with me. Well, I'll probably just take them all anyway. It might not look like it, but there is some kind of order going on here. And um, next up, I am going to do like t-shirts, but I'm going to try a different method. Rather than rolling them, I'm just going to put them straight in. And then that way, when I get to my destination, I will be able to just lift them straight out and put them on the shelves. Hang on, let's try and do it that way. If I do it the other way. So t-shirts next. They're going in. And I should actually be able to get... Because there is quite a lot of room in, in here. I should be able to get some smaller stuff, like small shorts. I should be able to get at the side. What is that? Why am I taking that? Right, while we're on the subject, how many clothes do you take when you are going away for a week? 
let me know in the comments because I know this is a bit of a debatable topic and let me know if you're a, a man or a woman or a boy or a girl and um, I know I'm pretty bad I know I am I see that when you um, when you go on package holiday and you get the price for your whole price and you don't have to pay anything different for your baggage I just think that that's a challenge if it says you can take 23 kilo I'm like yeah I can take 23 kilo watch me and then when I come back something's got to give so right we've got quite a lot in there back over with the straps a bit tight this one yeah so let me know in the comments how much pack how much stuff you take for a one week break we'll say I mean it's different isn't it depending on where you're going but uh, just say you're doing a week in the sun how much stuff would you take and then I can work out if I'm just such an overpacker or not got to cover yourself though haven't you for all eventualities right oh these go in nice and neat I guess what could be really cool about these packing cases is if you are traveling with other people so say you're a family um, you could all have different boxes. I'm going to be honest, it doesn't look at the moment like I am going to have enough little parcels and bags to put all my stuff in. But I will not be defeated. I will give it a go. Yes. Having a little debate with myself, actually. Um, how many how many swimsuits does everybody take for a week? That's another good question. You, know, you see some people around the pool and they have like a new costume on every day. Um... So like if you're away for a week, that's seven days. Seven costumes, that's a lot of costumes. Um, I'm not judging, I'm not judging by the way. Um, so I think I did get quite a few out and tried them all on, but I am sticking with, I'm gonna stick with four. I think, I think four's enough. Again, let me know what you think. That's. I mean, nobody's right, nobody's wrong, are they? I suppose it's just personal preference. And maybe it's different for what type of holiday you're doing and how many times you're going swimming and whether you're going in the sea. Because sometimes when you go in the sea, you get like, because it goes a bit hard, doesn't it? If you watched probably one of my previous packing videos, I might have covered this. Oh, this one's got all sand, it shows you around. Right. So it's the Dr. Beckman Travel Wash. And this is really good. So it means if you haven't brought enough clothes, you can always rinse them through with this this is gonna have to go so this is really sticky though sand all over the bed now lovely this little bag i think these would be really good for sandals and it's got a handy drawstring little pairs of sandals in there flip-flops that sort of thing so that's that bag i'm going back to rolling it just makes more sense to me i think what I've learned from this process so far, obviously I am a packing cube virgin. I've learned that it probably is going to be different for everybody. Different way of doing it for different people because we pretty much pack different stuff, don't we? You can just hang that in the wardrobe, can't you? Okay, cooking with gas now, cooking with gas. Okay, so the verdict. Right, as you see, I have got the packing cubes in there. Still got a few left, but I haven't packed my toiletries yet because I'm not going for a few days. So, I've just put my clothes in. There's still a little bit of space here. Now, I've put, and I've got some stuff there. So I have still got some room, which is great because then the boys can get some of their stuff in. I get it, it's cute. I don't know whether I'll bother, to be perfectly honest, every time. I go away. I mean, I'll. Yeah. What do, What do you think, guys? Is it worth doing? I mean, if you like everything nice and neat and tidy, you'd probably actually be a lot better at this than me. Um. And yeah, there does still still seem to be have quite a lot of room in here. So that's good because normally I don't have any room left. Um. Well, anyway. It's a maybe from me. The price was good. I think they were like twelve ninety nine, so that was good. Thank you to everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope it's helped you decide whether you want to buy some packing cubes or not. 
Um, let me know in the comments if you've tried some before and whether you thought they were any good. I would say quality wise, these are probably just as good as any other packing cubes. The zips were fine and the actual material was good. So I don't think it's worth spending loads of more money when you can just spell for $12.99. But yes, it does look pretty neat. It does look a lot neater than when I usually go away. And it's gonna be super simple when we get to the resort to just pop stuff on shelves. And then coming back, we'll see what happens. Um, thank you so much for watching. I've been Claire, this is The Wanderlust Way. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more content like this, including some travel videos as well. Like they would do that, I do that more often than anything else. And um, give us a thumbs up, will you? It doesn't cost you anything, and it massively helps the channel to grow. Thank you, have a great day, and happy travels if you're going somewhere. Bye-bye.